in this movie, what we're going to do is have a look at symbols and how you can actually spray them onto your artwork to create really great patterns. And all of it is for free. So what I want you to do is open up symbolgirl01.ai and in there you'll find this piece of artwork that I'm working on at the moment. And what I want to do is create a pattern on her dress. So what we're going to do is select her dress. Now if you go into the layers panel, you can choose to go into isolation mode there or you can right click on her and say go to isolation mode or exit isolation mode and that allows us to edit the dress without editing anything else and then we're going to select this tool here the symbol sprayer tool now if you click and hold with your pen you can actually drag this whole palette out and we can start to work with our symbols now you'll notice I've got a very large brush, so I'm going to select my brush size options and just bring that down using the touch ring on the Wacom tablet. And the next thing I need to do is actually choose a symbol. So I'm going to open up my symbols panel and in here in the wing menu, I can go down and say open symbol library. And there's a couple that I'm going to work with. The first one I'm going to work with is this one, flowers. So we'll open the symbol, the flower symbols and place them here and I'm going to paint some uh, sunflowers onto her dress. So we'll select the sunflower and what happens now is if I just click once, now if you double click the tool, you'll notice that we have settings in here and it's telling me that I can define the size or average the size of these. So I'm going to leave that as it is and then you can also adjust the intensity by using the pressure on the Wacom tablet. So I'm going to set my pressure as the way of determining how many flowers come out when I press. So I'm going to click OK. Now you can also go to your Wacom tablet control panel and just make sure that in Illustrator you have your tip feel at quite high value, um, particularly if you're like me and you press quite hard. So what I'm going to do now is just click once and it will create a sunflower and I can keep clicking. Now if I click and drag, it will create a whole load of sunflowers, so I don't really want to do that. So I'm just clicking once and creating a little repeat pattern of the sunflowers. Now you'll notice that I'm going over the edges of her dress. Don't worry too much about that, because I'm going to show you how we can um, cut out the flowers from the dress afterwards. Now they're a little bit too big, so if you want to adjust any of the properties, you can use the scruncher tool, the sizer tool. All of these tools can be used to adjust the sunflowers after they've been painted. So for example, if I want to make this smaller, I can click on my option key on my express keys, and that would be the alt key on PC. And I can just click on this to make it smaller and smaller. The more I click on it, the smaller it will become. And if I make my brush a bit bigger, that'll have more of a result. Now if I was to click on it without holding down the option key, it would obviously make it bigger. So you see that's making it a lot bigger if I click really hard on it. But if I hold down the option key and click very softly, I can gradually make that smaller. So I'm going to do that with a few of them. I'm just going to gradually click on them to make them smaller. Now the nice thing about the symbol tools as well is if I wanted to, say, change the colour of the flowers, I would just need to change one of them and all of them would update. So they behave as a group, but you also have individual controls by using these brushes. So once I have them the size I want, I may want to move them a little bit. So I can use the shifter tool to do that. I can just push this flower over so that it's on her strap. Uh, this one, this one, shift over a little bit. And the harder I press, the faster it will move because it's pressure sensitive. OK, so once I have the flowers where I want them, I may want to maybe colourise them, saturate them. There's tools in for filling them with colour, saturating them, making them semi-transparent. So if I want to have some of the dress showing through, I can do that, just make them semi-transparent. But once I'm happy with it, what I want to do then is cut them out so that they're only applied to the dress. So basically I'm going to select them and then I'm going to select the dress and make a copy of it. So I'm going to bring up my radial menu, go to my commands and say copy. And then I'm going to paste in front. So instead of doing a normal P, 
paste, I'll say paste in front. Okay. And then if we go into our layers and we open that up, I can actually drag that above the symbol set. Okay. Or drag the symbol set between the two paths. And then I'm going to use this as a clipping path for the flowers. So I'm going to go to object, clipping path or clipping mask, make. And what that does is it cuts out all the bits of the flowers that I don't want to be on the dress. And then I can come back into my main menu and I have a lovely floral print on the dress. And again, I've painted those on using the pressure sensitivity of my pen and tablet to determine where the flowers are and how strong they are.